What's happening, guys? Lane Rides here. Um, I'm going to apologize in advance for this video because I have a coat drying that has a lot of buckles on it. So all the little clicks that you hear is my coat flipping around. So why don't I stop it? Because I don't care enough, to be totally honest. <laughs> Uh, I'm making this video for two purposes. One, it's a video response to both Yummy R6 and Motino Motinosity X um, talking about the state of moto vlogging. And two, because I'm learning Final Cut Pro on my Mac and I want to play around with it. So you're going to see some fun little effects that I'm sure you've already seen by this point. Ooh. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> um, so Yummy R6 and Motonosity X both put out some really good points on where moto vlogging is at, and Yummy R6 was arguing that we are at the increase. Like we have, as moto vloggers, we've plateaued at a low starting point, and we're suddenly getting exponential rise. And he was looking at that from a single year statistics, and Motonosity put out a good counterpoint saying that if you take a snapshot of any point in time, it's going to look like the increase is significant. You have nothing to compare it to, like, compared to... You need to compare it to something else, this is my opinion. But it goes right along with Motonosity. You have to be able to take it and look at it alongside something that's much more popular, like sports videos or fail videos or vines or fuck knows what. Pick something. I don't care. And look at how the popularity exploded on things like that to get a good comparison. But I will say that there is plenty of room for Moto Vloggers. Being that I'm just starting... I'm subscribed to every moto vlogger I've found, and I have less than 50 subscriptions still. I mean, not people subscribe to me. I have four now, which means two more than last time I talked about it, so yay! But um, I'm talking about how many people I'm subscribed to. I have less than 50, and like 95% of my subscriptions are moto vloggers. I have like a couple that are off, like Boogie. And Jenna Marbles and my friend Scorpio Striker. And besides that, it's pretty much all moto vloggers. So the fact that there's so few of us out there still, I know there's a shitload of people that ride motorcycles, and there's a lot of people that r record videos. They just don't talk up talk while they're doing it. Um, so there's plenty of room for you to come and voice your opinion, and. I will say that even at this point, I feel like the majority of the basic motorcycle topics have been covered. I'm still going to probably end up covering most, if not all of them, to put in my two cents, just because I like talking. But I'm noticing a lot more branching off at the moto vlogging, talking about less related topics to motorcycling or totally non-related topics for that matter. And there's no issue with that. There is no serious problem with that whatsoever. It's a vlog. You talk about whatever you want to do. And the fact that you're doing it on a motorcycle just makes it that much more fucking entertaining. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> so you can bitch about whatever you want or talk about whatever you want. And it's still going to be watchable and enjoyable. And you're still going to get mad views. So why not? There is plenty of room for moto vlogging. And I've already made that point, and I'm making emphasizing it because it's ridiculous. I mean, you got people like Space Pod, Baker X, Derek, Cycle Cruza, Motonosity, Chase on Two Wheels, I Am Ramekin, Jake the Garden Snake, and many more that I'm probably forgetting that are putting out awesome videos at the rate of anywhere from one to four a week. That's fantastic. Yummy R6. I already talked about him earlier trying to think of the ones that I forgot, and I know, oh, uh, Lori Jennifer, and there's still more, and I'm not going to be able to name them all off the top of my head, but my point is, they're putting out videos quickly, and I'm still able to snatch up and watch everything that they put out as they put it out, and want more. I want a lot more, to be frank with you. I've watched everything that all of them have put out, and I'm like, this is cool. It's not enough. 
It's kind of like with the fail blog. Fail, not fail blog. Fail blog is awesome, by the way. Failblog.org. If you wanted to kill some time. Anyhow, fail videos, man. I've watched, you know, best fails of December, January. I've watched so many Vine videos and I, I haven't seen anything original in months. And I eventually killed it all, but I got a good 20, 30, 40 hours of entertainment. I'm much shorter on my timeline for how long it took me to kill everything in the moto vlogging realm. And it's coming up a lot slower because there's a lot less people doing it. When you have a thousand people putting input on something, you're pretty well entertained. When you've got 50 to 75 people doing it, it's not enough to really shape the masses. That's why everything that's out there right now is so popular. That's why all the moto vloggers that have a little bit of experience, a little bit of a reputation, have so many subscribers. Because there's so few people doing this. That's why I want to get into it. I have never... Except for when I was a kid and wanted to be a musician, I have never in my life legitimately made an attempt to do something that would get myself noticed. And yet, motorcycling has become one of the few passions I have in life that's just, it's one of those things where you wake up in the morning and you feel ridiculously giddy inside to do it. And I want to share that, and I want to share my thoughts while I'm doing that with the world, so... I actually have motivation to put out videos. I mean, shit, this is my second video today. I am just that pumped about this kind of thing. So there is plenty of room for eager people like myself to slam out videos at a high rate of speed. And I'm planning on doing videos at least once at one every couple days. I mean, I may end up doing way more than that, but I'm going to fucking try as hard as I can to do at least one every two days. Preferably one every day or more. I was bored today, too. I did enough schoolwork to blow my head off, and I figured I needed to take a break. But that's me putting my two cents in on the state of motive vlogging at current. And, I mean, you can agree or disagree, and it's not going to kill me either way. Um, Yummy did get a lot of heat recently for his video, and Modernosity was talking about it as well. And yeah, there's always going to be haters. Yeah, that's an old topic. Yeah, we know to ignore them. It's not a big deal at this point. But we can still do what we can to try to make this entertaining for everybody. And if you're going to bitch about it because you're not happy that we're doing it and you're not, or you just don't like us because we're on motorcycles or whatever, that's your own problem for wasting your time to vent. I mean, sure, everybody deserves to be heard, but if you're just going to fucking waste your waste your fingers typing away some frantic, angry bullshit that has nothing relevant to say, sucks to be you. End of story. So, that's all I got for right now, guys. So, have a good one, and I will see you soon.